You are welcome to class. We will cover the following in this special lesson. Number one, domestic animals and pets. Number two, big land animals. Number three, small land animals. Number four, air animals. Number five, insects and the likes. And finally, we're going to cover water creatures. So this is a full package of Igbo names for all animals you can think of. You cannot afford to miss any of them, so watch to the very end. Let's move. I am the Igbo tutor, Onyen Kuzibo. We begin right away with domestic animals. The first one we have here is dog. Dog is called Nketa in Igbo. Nketa, that is dog. And we we'll move to the next one. The next is horse. What is horse called in Igbo? It's called Inyinya. Please pay attention to the pronunciations because if you don't get it right, it means something else. Inyinya, that is horse. Number three animal is donkey. Donkey is called Inyinya Ibu or Jaki, as the case may be. Inyinya means horse. Ibu means load. So, or burden. So, Inyinya Ibu is the beast of burden or load carrying horse. Inyinya Ibu or Jaki for short. We'll move on from here. The next is parrot. And we we'll call parrot Ichoku. Ichoku. That is parrot in Igbo language. Next is chicken. And chicken is called okoko generally in Igbo language. Chicken is okoko. But we have two types of chicken that have different names. Hen is called nneku okoko. Nneku okoko. Why? Cock is called oke okba. Oke okba or oke okoko as the case may be. Move on to other types of bears. We have peacock. Peacock is called Ezen Nono. Ezen Nono. Eze means king and Nono means bird generally. So peacock is the king of birds. Ezen Nono. We we'll move on from here. Next is Toki. And Toki is called Toro Toro in Igbo language. Toro Toro. Next in domestic animal is goat. We we'll call goat Ewu. Ewu. That is goat for you in Igbo. Next is pussy cat. What do we call pussy cat in Igbo? We call it wamba. Wamba. That is pussy cat. Next is sheep. We call sheep atoro. That is the female. Atoro. We call it sheep. But the male, which is ram, we call it ebulu. Ebulu. We move on from here. Next is cow. Cow is called ehi in Igbo. Ehi. In Igbo language, next is pig. We call pig easy, easy, easy. In Igbo language, next is war gecko. War gecko is called ncheke or angolo in Igbo language. Angu means lion, but ulo means home, the home lion. Maybe because of the way it catches insects at home, we call it angolo, home lion. We we'll move on to big land animals. What is the first one we're considering here? Fox. Fox is called Nketa Ohia. Nketa Ohia. Nketa is dog. Ohia is bush. So this is bush dog. Nketa Ohia. But there is another type of uh, a dog in the bush. This one is called wolf. Wolf is Ago Ouru. Ago is lion. Ouru is a silent time when nobody is around. So Ago Ouru is another type of dog or bush dog. What is the difference between this and that? For this fox, the head is a little bit rounded with a pointed mouth. Why? The wolf has a broader mouth. That's just the difference there. Let's move on to another one, which is elephant. Elephant is any in Igbo language. Any elephant. What is the next? Buffalo. Buffalo is called ato in Igbo language. Ato. As buffalo for you. Then we have next African chivet. We call this Edi. Some we add it something else like Edi Abale, which is Edi for night. It sleeps so much. So we call it Edi. Edi, that is African chivet. Next is Hyena. Hyena is called Hora in Igbo language. Hora, that is Hyena for you. We move to Leopard. Leopard is called Ago. In Igbo language, Ango, that is leopard, and the next is lion. 
Lion is called Odum, Odum in Igbo language. Let's move on from here. We have Camel next. And Camel is called Ininya Ibu in Igbo language. Ininya is horse. Ibu is uh, load or burden. So this is a horse for carrying a uh, load, just like we have in that of uh, a donkey. It's the same, the same name we have for both of them. So let's move on. The next is Hippopotamus. This is called any miri. Any is elephant. Miri is water. So this is like saying water elephant. A hippopotamus lives in both land and water. So he can go for both land animal and water animal. We call it any miri in this case. Let's move on. The next we have is Galago bush baby. What is it in Igbo? We call it ikiri. 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 That is Galago bush baby. Next is hog. Hog is called eziohia in Igbo language. Eziohia. Ezi means pig. Or here means bush. Just like saying bush pig. Eziohia. That is hog for you. And the next is deer. We call deer mbada. Deer is mbada in Igbo language. But the next one is antelope, which is ele antelope. We call it ele. What is the difference between the two? The horn of mbada look like branches of tree. Why? That of ele is smooth, having a curved lines on it. That's just the difference between the two. But they act the same way and eat the same grass. We move on from here. Next is monkey. A monkey is called ewe in Igbo language. Ewe, monkey. What is next? Next is baboon. Baboon. We call this utobo in Igbo language. Utobo, utobo. What is the difference between monkey and baboon? Monkey has more of a rounded face with a shorter mouth, but baboon has a pointed, elongated face with a pointed mouth. And baboon tries more on, on land Why? The, the monkey is faster and sharper on the trees. So they are different in nature. And that is baboon for you, Utobo. And let's move on to the next, which is gorilla. Gorilla is Ozodimba. Ozodimba, that is gorilla for you. The next is chimpanzee. Chimpanzee is called Adaka in Igbo language. Adaka, chimpanzee. Let's move on from here. Next is zebra. Zebra. What is zebra? Inyinya. Oh, here. Oh, here is bush. Inyinya is horse. So this is like saying bush, horse. Inyinya, oh, here. That is zebra for you. And we move to giraffe. Don't have a clear name for giraffe in Igbo language. So the giraffe English word is borrowed and, you know, adapted. So we call it giraffe. Giraffe in Igbo language. Please accept that. We have code borrowing, code switching, and code missing everywhere. So we have grass cutter next. Grass cutter. We call it nchi in Igbo language. Nchi. Nchi. Please listen to the sound. Nchi. Move on to the next. The next is rabbit. Rabbit is called agama in Igbo language. Agama. That is rabbit for you. Then we we'll look at smaller land animals. Now, let's look at the first one, rat. Rat is called okay. Rat is okay. What is next? Next is shrew. Shrew. Shrew is nkaku or nkapi. Some will pronounce it as nkapi. Some will call it nkaku. What is the difference between rat and shrew? You will see that rat has a normal mouth while the shrew has a pointed mouth and it smells different. So that's the difference between the two. Move on to guinea pig. Guinea pig is called okebeke. Okebeke in Igbo language. Next is snail. Snail is called ejuna. Ejuna in Igbo language. Let's move on to the next one. We have snake. Snake is generally called agwa. Agwa, that's the general name. But this particular type of snake is called Ajuane. Ajuane. 
but there are other types of snakes so numerous to mention here but just know that snake is agua generally we just mention maybe one more, one more type of snake one more like python what do we call python in Igbo? we call it ak ak there are so many types of snakes to begin to list them here one by one let's move on to the next thing we have squirrel squirrel we call it osa in Igbo language osa that is squirrel what is next next is lizard 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 is called ngwere ngwere in Igbo language we we'll move on to the next and the next is chameleon chameleon we call it ogumagana in Igbo ogumagana that's the name of chameleon in Igbo language let's flip on to the next what we have here is porcupine and hedgehog they look alike but they are a little bit different look at porcupine the the the, the, the nail or the, or the or the pin on the body is longer longer but the hedgehog has a shorter nails on the body so that is just the difference but they are similar they behave alike so Igbo call them abiogu whichever abiogu either porcupine or hedgehog we call it abiogu abiogu that is the name in Igbo language now we have pangolin pangolin is called a cover a cover in Igbo language a cover let's move on from here we have monitor lizard monitor lizard we call this ao ao in Igbo language it looks like komoro but it's not it's very small compared to komoro uh, and, and lizard this is very small so it's monitor lizard we call it ao but they behave the same way like komodo komodo so we call it ao so we move on and the next is snake lizard it has a smooth body that looks like snake snake lizard we call it ngwere agwo ngwere is lizard generally so ngwere agwo is snake lizard ngwere agwo move on from here and the next we have is scorpion scorpion we call scorpion api in Igbo. api api that is scorpion for you the next is tortoise tortoise or tortoise as the case may be we call it mbe mbe in Igbo. mbe in Igbo language next is etworm etworm what is the name in Igbo language e d d e d d that's what we call it in Igbo language next is millipede millipede we call millipede esu esu in Igbo language esu there is another one that looks like millipede this is called centipede and the name is obakuru obakuru so the difference between the two you can see the claws of this one is longer than that of a millipede and millipede has more claws in number compared to centipede that's the difference between the two and let's look at air animals air animals the first we are considering is bear generally bears generally is called no 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 that's the general name for all bears no no but let's consider few species of bear for the sake of this lesson number one we're going to look at is where where we call it aqua in Igbo, or kwa, or kwa. Another one is guinea fowl, beautiful one. Guinea fowl, we call it orgazi, orgazi in Igbo language. What other bird we're looking at now? Stock, stock, we call it opoko, opoko in Igbo language. Opoko, that is stock. We move on from here. The next is weaver bird, weaver bird. We call it Nunuoka. Nunuoka in Igbo. Some people call it Ahia or Asia. So that is weaver bird for you. And we move on to next, which is O. O. What is it in Igbo? Ikwikwi. Ikwikwi. That is O in Igbo language. Next is ostrich. Ostrich. We call it Enyinunu. Any means elephant. No, no, is bears generally. So any no, no is elephant bird. Elephant bird. Any no, no. 
We'll move on from here. The next is ego. Ego. We call it ugo. Ugo in Igbo language. Ugo. Next is hawk. Hawk. We call that unquo in Igbo language. Unquo. That is hawk for you. And we have next kite. Kite is called ewe in Igbo language. Hawk is faster and swifter than a uh, kite. But kite is bigger in size. So kite is ewe in Igbo language. Next is vulture. Vulture is udene. Udene in Igbo language. Udene, vulture. Next is duck. Duck. Duck is called obogo. Obogo. Obogo in Igbo language. But another type of duck which flies like normal bird in the air. We call it goose. Goose. And this goose, we call it in Igbo, epoohon or obogo or here. Obogo, of course, you know he is duck. Or here is bush. So it's like saying bush duck. Obogo or here or epoohon as the case may be. Whichever is applicable to you. Next is pigeon. Pigeon. We call pigeon nduru. 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 That is pigeon for you. But we have dove. We call it dove. Ndo. Beautiful dove. Ndo. We call it ndo. We move on from here. And next is woodpecker. Woodpecker. What is it in Igbo language? Otoropopo. Otoropopo. That is the way it's pecking the wood. Po, po, po. That's how we call it. Otoropopo. We move on from here. The next bird is egret. Egret. We call it chekeleke. Chekeleke. That is egret for you. Next is sparrow. Sparrow, very small. We call it nza. Nza. Sparrow is nza in Igbo language. Let's move on. The next is swift bird. Swift bird. And the Igbo name is eneken tioba. Eneken tioba. Eneken tioba. That is swift bird. we we'll move on from here. The next is pied crow. Pied crow. The Igbo name is ugoloma. 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 That is pied crow. Let's move to the next, which is bat. Bat is called also in Igbo language. Also. That is bat for you. Now let's consider insects and the likes. Insects and the like. First one is cricket. We call cricket abuzo. Abuzo. That is cricket. Next is grasshopper. What is grasshopper in Igbo? Opana. We call it opana. We call it opana. That is grasshopper for you. What a black ant. Black ant. We call it abuse. Abuse. That is black ant. If this one bites you, you will really feel the pain and it will last for a long time. Abuse. That is the black ant. Next is sugar ant. We call it ndida. Some we call it danda. Ndida. That is sugar ant. Ndida or danda as the case may be. We move on to termite. Termite in Igbo is called akika. Akika. That is termites in Igbo language. Akika. Let's go on to next insect. Taylor ant. Taylor ant is called akbankara. 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 That is Taylor ant in Igbo language. Next we have is spider. Spider. We call it ududo. 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 That is spider for you in Igbo language. Next is praying mantis. We call this ogugu. Some call it otiopo. Otiopo is a boxer. The way he positions the hand and kicks you when you come near it. So we call it otiopo or ogugu as the case may be. We move on to cockroach. What is cockroach in Igbo? We call it ochicha. Ochicha. That is cockroach in Igbo language. Next is beetle. Beetle. We call it ebe. Ebe in Igbo language. Ebe, that is beto. Move on to maggots. What is maggots in Igbo? We call it iburu. 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 That is maggots. 
in evil language. Now we have lies that lives in the head of human being and other places like that. What do we call it? We call it ego. Ego, that is lies for you. Ego, that is lies. Let's move on. Next is tick. Now we find in the body of dog and other animals like that, tick. We call it akwe, 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 that is ticks. Let's move on from here and we consider winged termites. Winged termite is called akumpu, akumpu, akumpu. That is our name for it. Next is dragonfly. What is the Igbo name? Dragonfly is called tatambeneke, tatambeneke. That is our dragonfly. We move on to housefly. What is housefly in Igbo? We call it EGG or somebody, some people will just call it EG, but it's EGG for full pronunciation. EGG, housefly. Let's move on from here. Next is bed bug. Bed bug. What is that in Igbo? Chinchi. Chinchi. That is bed bug in Igbo. Chinchi. Bed bug. Let's move on to sandfly. Sandfly is called momo. This is sandfly that has not eaten with empty stomach. This one has perched on human being as has sucked blood. So that's why it's reddish in the body. So it's momo, sandfly. Let's move on from here. Next is mosquito. Mosquito. What's the name in Igbo? Angunta. Angunta. That is mosquito. Angunta. Move on from here. Next, we have butterfly. Butterfly is called Olokolombuba. Some we call it Ulukulu, but it's Olokolo, whichever. Olokolo Mbuba, that is butterfly. Let's move on from here. Next is B. B is called Angu in Igbo. Angu. Angu, that is B. Then we have Wasp. This one too is dangerous. Wasp. We call it Evu or Ebu, depending on where you're coming from and the background you have. It is either you call it Evu or Ebu or is the same. Let's move on to next. Water creatures. We're moving to the end. Water creatures. What's the first thing we consider here? We consider crocodile. Crocodile is called agu i agu i crocodile. What's next? Fish. Generally, we call fish azo. Azo. Of course, you know there are different types of fish which are too numerous to classify and mention in this single video. But we'll look at just one that is popular to Igbo people. We call it codfish or stockfish. Codfish, when it is fresh like this, is codfish. But when it's dried, it becomes stockfish. In that case, we call it oporoko. 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 That is our stockfish or codfish. Next is toad. Toad is awo. Awo in Igbo language. Toad is awo. Next is frog. What do we call it? We call it mbara, mbara, mbara. That is frog for you. Next is crab, crab. What do we call that? We call it nshiko, nshiko, nshiko. That is crab. Next we have periwinkle. We call periwinkle isam in Igbo language. Isam, isam. And the next is crayfish. Crayfish is called isha in Igbo language. Isha, isha. That is our crayfish, isha. Next is lobster. Look like crayfish also, but the claws are bigger than that of crayfish. Lobster, we call it oporo. Oporo, oporo. That is lobster. And the next is fresh water snail. Fresh water snail, which is called akpakoro, akpakoro, fresh water snail, akpakoro. With this, we'll come to the end of this lesson today. Thank you for being with us. Uh, displayed on the screen are a few other videos we think will be very useful and helpful to you. We've just selected them for your own listening pleasure. Just click on any of them now.
watch and thank us later. God bless you for being with us. See you in the next video. Dialogue email.